This isn't to wipe myself. <laughs> what is that? What is it for? It's then? The st stupid cold I've had for like a week and a half. That's a major piece of toilet paper, babe. Yeah. I'm about to call the moose. Do it. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Do it. You can do it louder than that. That was wimpy. Now we're camped out in a beautiful campsite in Kettle Falls, or just outside of Kettle Falls, Washington. We're technically maybe 60 miles away from the Canadian border. And then we're going to cross a supposedly really beautiful drive um, in Canada to go to Mount Revelstoke, or the town of Revelstoke, and hang out there for a day or two. And good friends of ours, Jared and Alicia, actually met there years and years ago. They're now um, kind of our mentors in the, the travel blogging space, and uh, they always talked about how awesome it is. So we're going to go check it out, spend a day or two there as our first real introduction to Canada. We're actually going to go out beyond those trees is the Columbia River. I think that's my favorite river at this point. Uh, and all the rivers that we've seen from the Mississippi to the Rio Grande, the Colorado River. I just really love the Columbia River. So we're going to go and let her splash around and swim and start the day out with some exercise and some smiles and come back, have breakfast, and then off we will make our way toward Canada. We're going to the beach. In north central Washington, the beach is a little bit different than the beach in Florida. Lindsay's obsessed with these dandelions. They're huge. They're like Look the size of her face. Are. The first one she tried to blow, it didn't move. <laughs> Not sexy. The dandelion's <laughs> kicking your butt. It's giant. <laughs> I give up. Let's go, healer. Go, Dingo. Okay. Go. Go. Did you make coffee? No. Can you, you believe you're getting me out here? You're out hiking in the morning? Me? 9.30, no coffee. It. It's gonna make the coffee taste all that much better when we get back. Yeah. We're coffee junkies. Come here. I'm here. Coming up on Roosevelt National Lake which we were on a couple hundred miles to the south, so I think pretty much all of the Columbia River uh, because there's so many different dams. I think there's 11 dams in the United States section of the Columbia River um, that creates all these different reservoirs and lakes. So I think pretty much the whole river district is Ooh, considered a lake. <coughs> hey, did I say that was okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everest. No, ma'am. Hey. She didn't listen. She doesn't listen when there's water around. 
We brought her out here last night and she wasn't allowed in the water and it drove her crazy. It drove her nuts. We didn't want her to get all wet right before bed, but we needed to burn some energy. Today's a bit of a drive day. I think officially we're four hours of driving, but we also have a border to cross and... We think she's part lab, not healer. <laughs> and she likes sticks. You're not worried that a... She's not floating that well. Look at me. You're not worried a 12-foot pike is going to come up and swallow her whole? I, uh, number one, I hope there's no 12-foot long pikes in this lake. Sturgeon. I don't even think they exist. Sturgeon. 12-foot long sturgeon. Stop <laughs> correcting me. <laughs> I actually had a fear while I was walking the dog. I thought it would be fun to watch her swim way out there. But then if the sturgeon got her, man, I'd be, I'd have to be in the water like wrestling an alligator. Apparently the sturgeon, they stay deep. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Come here. Come on. She <laughs> you scared her now. <laughs> She's having a blast. <laughs> she still takes up energy. Look at her. We already walked almost oh. three miles this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. My lens got wet. That's okay. This weather's sealed. One of my favorite games to play with Everest at a beach like this is fetch the rock. She still hasn't figured out that rocks sink. Hey. I throw one, and I throw another, and I throw another. Maybe we get her go a little farther that way into the sun. Then we'll bring her back. Chris is gonna try throwing this epically huge stick. That's my other trick with the dog. Do you think Everest will fetch it? We'll find out. I don't think she can. I think it's too big. <laughs> She's gonna try. She will try. Uh. <laughs> she can't get her teeth into anywhere. There's only those little notches at the top. She's gonna try to get it. <laughs> She's <laughs> get it, Evie. No, she gave up. I'm sorry. See, I didn't think she could do it. It was just too wide. No, we can find some big ones though. She's she's fetched some pretty big sticks. We'll some big sticks. <laughs> she just has to have a place to put her teeth in. Canada. 